Hey there, and welcome to Painting Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, I hope we're going to finish him off and make him look pretty today, being the best Jedi in all the land. So first I'm going to reintroduce all of the tones into the area, which has mostly been blued up. Here we go then, have reintroduced flush tones, have reintroduced browns on the cloak, reintroduced white to the hair, and also thinned the white and applied it to his, um, his ivory-coloured robes. <coughs> Mm, sorry about that. Frog in my throat, apparently. And on his sort of Jedi robes, it mixed a very thin mahogany brown, about three parts water, one part paint, and used that as a blending agent. Ran it over the entirety of the robe except the blue areas. Now, outside of the blue areas, it was really just to mat up the brown ink. Normally, it wouldn't necessarily run it over everything, but to remove that glossy quality. And then over the rest of the robe, also then went round and rehired everything with a standard thickness as such of mahogany brown. But where I've had it thin, I have run it into all the creases of his cloak to try and bring some of the brown back to where um, the blue lighting effect has been running and reintroduced the brownness to the, the uh, bluer area. Also have dropped his eyes in and Alec McGuinness does have blue eyes so again went and checked so it's always worth checking little things like that so next up I'm going to start concentrating on all of this lighting so I'm going to reintroduce another tier of very light blue highlights throughout the face and throughout the lit area here then is the reintroduction of light blues over the tops of the blue so the sabre around the face over the cape and Nothing else has been done other than that. So the next point is to introduce highlights to all the flesh and flash tones. Here we go then, have run the flesh up, mixing the original heavy flash tone with a bit of white, also with a bit of red for doing the lips, and is up having to put a tiny, very thin bit of blue ink in around the mouth. And then I did go a bit carried away because I started using white, so I reintroduced white highlights to his hair, running that through all of his hair, so if I spinning around you can see we've got the all through the hair. Uh, I ignored the collar because I decided I'd just leave that um, the different tone so it's sort of he's been wearing the same coat for too long it's got a bit mucky that's why it's gone a bit grey rather than being a nice ivory colour and then in the face after running the um, lighter tone which was mixed with a bit of white and the heavy flash ran more white through it introduced a, another light tone just in around uh, in around the eyes here down the nose across the forehead just trying to keep it on the front of the face where it's facing the saber and then uh, finally lit that up by mixing blue and white really light and applied the same blue and white in and around all of the sort of arms and around the front here and down and around the tip of the saber. So the final thing to do is just going to be a very thin, and I mean very thin, like two, maybe three parts water to one part ink, blue ink wash, and do it real carefully because what I don't want you to do is to stain the eyes so that you can't see the blue iris um, against the um, white of the eye because that would mean that the blue is way way too dark and it's really just to act as a blender layer to help smooth out some of the colour transitions so I'll get that done and let it dry here we go then Obi Wan complete with the blue ink wash on very thin about two three parts ink and one part no two three parts water one part ink sorry also just run a neat black ink onto his belt there because he does have a black belt and not in karate. Uh, also paint his base. I'm, I'm just painting him the bases for these guys, all just charcoal grey. Um, I, I don't know. I could flock them. I don't want to flock them, though they would be interior slash exterior kind of affairs. So I hope that everything you're painting is coming really well. Any glowing lightsabery effects you're doing are looking really good. 
And this has been of some interest and use to you. So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.